Balaji wants to make his own country and religion patterned after Joseph Smith and Abraham Lincoln with this idea that we can control people if we control the police. He believes that his religion is a kind of tech Zionism where if you're on his team, you'll wear a gray shirt and you'll identify as a gray, not a red or a blue political parties, but, but a gray. And if you're part of the gray team, you have to get the police on your side. So I'm not making this up. You're going to buddy up to the police and buy them stuff so that hopefully the police will march with you. And then when you want to get your way, the police will crush your opposition. Yes, this man with a straight face sounds like every dictator you've ever heard. I'm going to make my own politics, my own party. We'll get the police on our side and then we'll crush anybody in our way. Pinch yourself if you've heard or read this before. But this man, with all of his optimism, all of his utopian ideals, forgets the number one problem. Forgets the number one honesty. It's not about the police. It's not about the color shirt you wear. It's not about seeking Abraham Lincoln or Joseph Smith or whomever. You gotta look internally before you want to start your own religion and world to see the real problem. Psalm 58. Even from birth, the wicked go astray. From the womb, they are wayward and speak lies. You want to start a religion? Own up to what's wrong with you, what's wrong with me. Instead of blaming everybody else for your problems, getting the police to do it, oh, that's way easier. That's politics in 2024, huh? Instead, it's a lot wiser to say, I'm the problem, I'm the sinner, I'm the issue. So much more convenient to blame others. In your own life, in your own relationships, in your own job, in your own everything, we are conditioned by our culture to be like my six-year-old who says, it's not my fault, it's my brother's fault. And that is how we are childish. In a world that needs maturity, in a world that needs honesty, we don't need tech Zionism, we don't need rewarm Nazism, no matter who says it. We need honesty to say, from birth, I speak lies. From beginning on, I'm wayward. I'm always seeking my pleasure, my control. And yet Psalm 58, this Psalm of David, shows me how sinful I am, how good God is. I don't need others to be crushed. I need my own spirit to be crushed and be lifted up with the promises of God's grace and gospel.